people of Earth. As you fail to supply 5,000 kilos of Belgian chocolate ice cream on my planet, as a revenge, I freeze your beloved Earth's core. <laughs> To be continued. Well, I can't say anything about this fictional TV show, but I can surely explain what will happen if it happens for real. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us explore this freezing situation by answering a cold question. What if Earth's core cools down? Zoom in! The Earth looks cool, calm and composed from outside. But around 1,802 miles below this cool, brittle crust lies the turbulent, burning ball-shaped core with a temperature of nearly 6,000 degrees Celsius, which is hotter than the surface of the Sun. This core is made of two layers that are almost entirely of metals. Yes, the outer layer consists of iron and nickel alloy, while the inner core is a solid iron-rich ball with a radius of about 750 miles thick and it continues to grow by about a centimeter every thousand years, gaining more heat as it expands. But at the same time, some studies have shown that fuel needed to keep the partly molten core heated is diminishing with time. Because of this, the Earth's core is cooling down by 100 degrees Celsius in every billion years. Well, this might sound like a matter of relief in the age of global warming. But in truth, we need the planet's center to remain blistering hot for many reasons in order to continue to survive. Yes, the first thing we need the Earth's core to remain heated is due to its ability to generate a geomagnetic field that acts as a protective shield from the harmful space radiations shooting towards us, including solar winds from the sun. Not only that, but it also helps migratory birds and animals to locate their destination. So, if the Earth's core starts cooling down, our planet will begin to lose its magnetic field. And soon, all the compass will stop pointing north, causing mass confusion amongst sailors and migratory birds as they won't be able to determine their directions. But worse, the absence of this protective field will allow the harmful radiation to enter our atmosphere, resulting in its slow disappearance. This will make life on Earth very difficult for human beings and other life forms, as with no atmosphere in place, we wouldn't be able to breathe without an oxygen mask and a suit to protect us from increased pressure. And since the frozen core wouldn't heat up things on our surface anymore, the Earth as a whole would be getting colder and colder. And if that happens, the movement in the mantle will also stop eventually. Then the plates on the surface will no longer move and there will be fewer or no earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. I know you might be thinking that this would be good for us, especially for people living in places like Tokyo, where these natural disasters are a big matter of concern. Well then, you will be surprised to know that volcanic eruptions also produce fertile soil for farming and gases that make up the air that we breathe. So in short, if the Earth's core cools down, our planet will turn into a lifeless lump of mud, just like our hot-tempered neighbor, Mars. Trivia time! Did you know, scientists estimate 
it would take about 91 billion years for the coal to completely solidify. But the sun will burn out in a fraction of that time, which is about 5 billion years. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind.